This is Twit. Open Hub is the world's largest repository for freely available analytics on open source software. We generate statistics on commits, contributors, languages, repositories for over 600,000 projects. Whoa, okay. And we track over 600,000 individual code locations. Our goal is to update those data every 24 to 72 hours. Admittedly, we're having issues right now. We can go into, into why, which is actually exciting news in, our, in terms of our architecture. And we make those data available for free over our website and through an API that makes most of the data available as well. We don't market, we don't spam anybody, we don't, <laughs> we don't sell it to sell our lists. This is really black duck effort to give back to the open source community. Well, that's, that sounds really fascinating. You're right, I did undersell it. I said 50, you said 600,000, so I appreciate that. How did this get started? This was started by the, uh, the founders. Uh, it was Olo.net in uh, 2006. Um, in case you're curious about Olo, my understanding is Olo is a specific size of surfboard. It's not an acronym for anything. It was just a neat word the, the guys found. And it was acquired by Black Duck in, in 2010 and has grown significantly over the past few years from about, uh, about uh, 200,000 projects to over 600,000. Okay. And, and so how are people using this data? Right. That's great. We, we see all sorts of... Well, so we go out to the internet at large, we get open source repositories, we pull them down and we walk through all of the commit history. We track every committer, every commit, we do line diffs, we summarize all of that, we draw the trends, we draw the charts. What we find is people coming and they will dig down into individual commits. They're looking through source and looking at the individual contribution that some person made and they're reading the message and they're looking at the number of lines and added and code removed. We also have people who are building what we like to call their open source um, resume. So they'll claim all of their contributions and we'll generate stats on their languages, on their projects, we'll def define, identify the language in which they work most often. And again, we put all that out there as well. You know, that is one of the things I saw when I was researching this, uh, actually just early this morning, because I always wait till the last second because I have too much stuff to do, uh, is I actually was found my own name and I was looking at the various commits I've made for things like uh, even the Git project core itself and a bunch of other things, things I had forgotten that I had contributed to. And and this seems, uh, oh, wait, what do you say, claim? I hope you claimed them. I hope you said, these are my commits, because you can find them and you can claim those contributions. And we'll generate all of those data and make it available. You can have an account for free. Again, we're not going to market to you. And, and then we'll generate this open source resume for you. We'll tell you when you first made a commit, when your most recent commit was, how many projects you commit to, all of that information. And how did you get involved with the, with the Black Duck in general and then also the, the specific project here? I started over four and a half, four and three quarter years ago at Black Duck on the team. It was the Olo team at the time. Um, it's the only Ruby on Rails application at Black Duck, and they had an opening, and I was fortunate to get along well with the team members there at the time, and uh, have grown to uh, Scrum Master and then Engineering Lead and Tech Lead for the team. So tell me a little bit about what's behind the scenes of this, because I'm sure, you, first you mentioned how it's Ruby on Rails, yes. so I'm already gristling a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, tell me more about what's behind the scenes on this. How are you crawling? Are you, you're crawling GitHub, you're crawling SourceForge, you're crawling all these sites to come up with what you've got. How, how are you doing this? What's the technology look like? Sure. We are an open source story from stem to stern. We run on Ubuntu, open source. Our, our database is Postgres. We use Nginx, we use Passenger, we use Ruby, we use Rails, we use Redis. We use a full open source stack from top to bottom. The code that we've written that, to do this is um, five dis distinct applications. We call it the Olo stack in deference to our founders. Sure. It starts off with the Olo SCM. This is a library that we use to go out to five different types of uh, software configuration management systems. Mm -hmm. we, port, we support CVS, SVN, Git, Mercurial, and Bazaar. Okay. And we fetch repositories using this library and bring it down locally. Then we use a second open source library called OCount to identify the lines of in, um, in each file, how many lines were added, how many lines were removed, what was the primary language. OCount identifies, I think, over 108 distinct languages. And so if there's a language that you're not seeing on the open hub, we need your pull request 
an O count so that we can support it. Then the three applications that we use, we have a backend system that does fetch, import, and slocking, single line of code counting. We call that our FizzBot, fetch, import, slock bot. Oh, nice. And we run a stack of those um, pretty beefy virtual machines, all writing to a SAN. We've got 16 terabytes of data right now. We expect to triple that by the end of the year, working with our other colleagues at Black Duck. And um, walk each, each code location, we walk through all of the history and write it into the database. Every commit, every contributor, every diff, all of that stuff goes in. And then, uh, then we run a second application, which is our OLO analysis engine, and that cuts through the data multiple times. We're looking for a project can have multiple code locations, so we aggregate all that information for the project. Mm. Then we'll take all of the projects that an organization like Apache or Mozilla um, or even uh, Genevi owns, and we aggregate the information for all of the projects and the contributors for the organization. We generate the statistics for the individual contributors, and we make that all available. If you have an account on Olo and you've told us about your open source contributions, we'll aggregate that information for the account and present that as well. And then we provide monthly summaries and we provide an overview for all of the repository information we have because we have access to multiple forges.